Sure, naughty but nice. Let's get on to Kenny Rice in the winner's circle. Okay, thank you very much, Sharon. Congratulations, Tommy Houghton. You had a lot of horse left at the end. It's a race that goes back and forth. O'Donnell's the first over. He's in the lead. Mylan Hanover goes over, and then at the three-quarter mark, it uh, comes down to naughty but nice, beginning to look strong and close at the finish. What's the key, Tom? Well, uh, I can't say I drove her well. She went a heck of a tough trip, tougher than anyone in the race, and uh, she was just her old self. She can beat him when she's a, when she's good. She's you, the best. Were you surprised by the time tonight? We were talking mm -hmm. earlier. It's a little cool tonight and everything, but a 56-4 here. Super time, especially with the trip she went out like that. On, uh, okay, let's take a look here at the way things are shaping up as you come for the turn, and you have a lot of horse left. You're getting the challenge from outside. How's everything shaping up? Look good to me <laughs> all the way to the wire. She... Uh, She's tough to pass when she's in front. She just digs in all she can. She was real game. So we're real happy. She looked very strong at the finish. Yep. She had, I think she'd have went more if she had to. She was, she just held them off. And there you see it, naughty but nice. Congratulations to you, Tommy Houghton, on the victory. Thank you. And also, Kentuckiana Farm celebrating right now, I know. Mr. Tom Crouch is here, the owner, one of the owners. And congratulations, we were talking earlier tonight. You thought that the horse was ready. Oh, uh, she was ready. She's been ready every time we ask her to this. Uh... Summer, and I think we just saw the horse a year tonight. You think this wraps it up for her? Well, it should. You're supposed to excel in your division, and she's done it every time we ask her to on all size tracks, double heats, three heats. I think that's what makes a horse of the year. I don't think we dodged anybody. And it certainly came down to her and a Hip Parade battling it out. Well, they're two great fillies. They're, they're wonderful fillies, and, and the owners of the other great fillies in this race have a right to be proud, too. Tom Cross, congratulations to you. Kentuckiana Farms, Tom Houghton, Naughty But Nice is the winner. Sharon, back to you. And thank you, Kenny. No doubt about her victory. She was indeed the winner. We have another time out to take, then we'll be back with more from Liberty Bell Park in Philadelphia. Liberty Bell, where Naughty But Nice was the winner of the Breeders' Crown race. Now, Hit Parade was uh, second under the wire. There is an inquiry against her, or, or uh, inquiry into her position. Uh, in fact, she's just been disqualified. May Wine has apparently been moved up to second place with In to Win Frost. So it's not what you see on your screen. It is Naughty But Nice, May Wine, In to Win Frost, with Silky Elmhurst getting fourth place. So uh, the inquiry or the objection was upheld, and Hit Parade has been disqualified out of uh, a money position. So that is it. But one thing is absolutely definite. The winner, Naughty But Nice, of this three-year-old Philly pace. What you expected, Kurt? Well, I think that, you know, the Philly adds this to a long list of important stakes victories this year, and she obviously is the queen of this division. Well, congratulations to her, to Tommy Houghton, to her owners, and she looks pleased with herself. So that is the seventh race in our Breeders' Crown Series here on ESPN. Okay.